d by theory of d by frequency of sodium is given as 3.3 .3 into 10 to power 12 hertz. So, we are asked to calculate the molar specific heat. at del k using d by theory T cube law at low temperatures. So, basically we have the expression C v according to d by theory 12 by 5 pi to the power 4 n k b T by theta d cube and to calculate theta d we are given nu d as 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power 12 hertz. So, h nu d is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 into Planck's constant 3.3 .3 into 10 to the power 12 and therefore, and this is equal to k b theta d where k b is the Boltzmann constant. So, with this theta d works out to be 157 Kelvin. Using this C v can be straight away find found out using this expression as 494.5 joules per kg mole per degree. We next proceed to consider an array of n atoms near neighbor separation of A. So, we are asked to discuss specific heat as a function of temperature. In order to do this, we go back to calculate the phonon dispersion relation, phonon in device continuum. We can say this as dispersion relation for sound waves omega equal to c q where or v q if you like where v is the speed of sound. So, d omega is c d v d q. We have an array of n atoms in a linear fashion. So, you have an one dimensional lattice with lattice constant A. We have already discussed the vibrations of such a crystal lattice and uh, the modes are given by L by pi d q that is the number of modes number of modes in an interval d q. So, converting this into omega and the energy internal energy is known to be the integral 0 to omega d of h cross omega by e to the power h cross omega by k b t minus 1 into L by pi v d omega. So, we make a change of variable by taking x equal to h cross omega by k b t. So, that this integral goes 
as proportional to t square and therefore, the specific heat which is d u by d t constant v is proportional to t. So, the specific heat of such a system is a linear function of the temperature. Next, we are asked to calculate the maximum frequency of vibration. of a one dimensional lattice, again a problem on lattice vibrations. Where the atom mass of atoms is given as 9 into 10 to the power minus 26 kilograms the force constant between near neighbors is given as 93.7 Newton per meter. So, the maximum mu max is 1 by pi t f by m to the power half. This is the this is the so substituting we get nine point nine into ten to the power twelve hertz. The next question is to show that the specific heat at low temperatures of a harmonic crystal in d dimensions. The dimensionality can be one dimension, two dimension, three dimension can be in general d dimensions. So, we want to see what is its temperature dependence. We want to show that the specific heat goes as t to the power d, where t is the temperature. So, we are given the hint that we have to calculate, this is the hint, calculate the low frequency density of normal modes of phonons in d dimensions that is the hint given. So, if we take phonons in uh, say in general, we have the density of phonon modes is of the order goes as omega to the power d minus 1. If d is the dimensionality, then for example, if d is 3, if it is 3 dimensional, we know the density of phonon modes goes as omega square. If it is 1 dimensional, it, it does not depend on omega at all. So, it is omega to the power 0 and so on. So, this is something that we have already considered. Therefore, the density of phonon modes goes as omega to power d minus 1. Therefore, the internal energy which is the average energy u is the integral 
of h cross omega by e to the power h cross omega by k b t minus 1. This is the waiting function, the average energy times omega to the power d minus 1 d omega. This is the energy and then this is the phonon density of states. So, this is the integral that has to be calculated. So, the u goes as this. So, this will be in general goes as integral something times omega to the power d by e to the power h cross omega by k b t minus 1 d omega times h cross. And therefore, the specific heat is just d u by d t at constant volume and therefore, the specific heat and in particular we are talking about low temperature limit. So, we are considering the limit h cross omega by k b t for t tending to 0 is tends to infinity as t tends to 0. So, the integral will become integral 0 to infinity of this quantity the derivative with respect to temperature of this. So, this will go as constant into omega. So, here we have the function h cross omega to the power h cross omega to the power d by e to the power h cross omega by k b t minus 1 d by d t d omega. And uh, when I make a change in variable, this is going to give me d by d t of k b t to the power d times a definite integral x to x to the power d by e to the power x minus 1 d x uh, into some constant. So, this is going to be a number because it is a definite integral. So, this goes as t to the power d this is going to become d plus 1 and when I differentiate with respect to temperature, this is going to go as t to the power d in d dimensions. This is what we are required to prove. The next question, we are given a set of specific heat values data, experimental measurements. The results of experimental measurements are tabulated specific heat versus temperature. So, T temperature and specific heat in joules per mole degree Kelvin into 10 to the power minus 4. So, at a temperature of 1 K, the specific heat is 7.2 into 10 to the power minus 4. At 1.5 k, this is 12. At 2 k, it turns out to have a value 16.1. At 2.5 k, it is 22.5. And at 3 k, it is 41.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 joule per mole degree k. So, this is the data that is given. So, we are required to find the electronic heat capacity coefficient remember we wrote this as C electronic goes as gamma t. So, it is this gamma 
and the d by temperature. by a graphical method. How do we do this? We already have considered this problem in a metal the heat capacity in general is given as sum of two terms the total heat capacity is the electronic heat capacity plus the lattice heat capacity. The electronic heat capacity go as, goes as gamma t and the lattice heat capacity goes as constant times T cube at low temperatures. Therefore, C total pi t is gamma plus beta t square constant I can write as beta. So, this means if we plot the total specific heat divided by the temperature versus t square this will be a straight line whose slope is beta and the intercept on the y axis gives you the electronic heat capacity coefficient. So, using the given data we arrive at the following table. So, these are the values which are plotted graphically and we find the plot of C by T versus T square turns out to be an approximate straight line at low temperatures which diverges later. So, passing a straight line through these points we get the slope and intercept which give the heat capacity coefficient gamma as approximately 7 into 10 to the power minus 4 joule mole k square. and d by temperature is approximately 150 Kelvin.